happening right now, the U.S. Attorney's Office and FBI just announced updates in multiple election threat cases. We're learning some disturbing details about what happened in Arizona. Team 12's Bianca Bono is joining us live outside the U.S. Attorney's Office with more. Bianca. Yeah, guys, that task force has charged 14 cases involving threats made against election workers and election officials across the country. Five of those 14 cases have ties to Arizona more than any other state in the country. Today, officials focusing in on three of those cases, and they involve threats against former Attorney General Mark Burnovich, then Secretary of State Katie Hobbs, and Clint Hickman of the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors. All three threats came from suspects out of state, from Iowa, Massachusetts, and Ohio. They ranged from phone calls threatening their lives to to bomb threats submitted via a web contact form. National investigators say they created the Election Threats Task Force to address specifically these types of cases. Take a listen. We also want to make sure that voters can vote free from intimidation and free from fear. Federal law protects against these crimes, and the cases we've brought are intended to address the concerns and to offer justice to the victims and deterrence against the spread of such threats. Now today when officials were asked why Arizona, why are we getting more threats than any other state in the country? They said it's likely because of the recent national attention that our elections have been getting. Now it's important to note that these officials say they're already looking ahead to next year's elections and planning for safety. They say they're going to be setting up command centers likely across the state to ensure those election workers and voters remain safe. We're live in Phoenix, Bianca Bono, 12 News. All right, Bianca, thank you. The